Hi guys, so today I think we're going to go ahead and try out the Anna Griffin teacup pop-up card dies. Um, I believe, I'm not too sure if it's a, a out of stock there or sold out on HSN, but I went over to Anna Griffin Sykes. People asked me, how do you order from her <laughs> if not from HSN? It's just AnnaGriffin.com and you can go there. And um, the first thing they had there was this set. So um, I believe currently I think it was 30 bucks, but I don't know, you know, obviously if she changes her pricing or how that works, but whatever. It was said 30 and that's what it said. Um, so we have it here. Uh, again, if you're interested in it, you can find it on her site, hopefully, if it's not sold out there now too, but we'll see. So um, let me open this up. I know she had sold some paper to kind of go along with it. Like I said, I didn't pick that up because I have plenty of Anna Griffin paper, but I do have some that have like kind of small patterns. I thought it might be cute for this um, set. So we will see. There's a lot that we're going to see, huh? I guess we will see. So it always comes with a nice instruction sheet um, with really colorful and really nice. Uh, just like that big flower pop-up die I had reviewed, basically the same kind of instructions here. Um, you know, you're going to cut out your pieces. Um, what's really cute about that little... Maybe I'll... I don't know. I don't want to make it just basic white, but at the same time, it's kind of pretty that way. Um, so you can see the embossing. We'll see, maybe I'll make a couple, one just like that so you can see them bossing and then maybe I'll make another one like, off camera and I'll have pictures of it. So it's gonna be the same uh, technique. Um, so we're gonna cut out all our pieces. You're just gonna glue, um, she says to use a liquid adhesive, which is always good. I always tell you guys I like liquid glue better because it's gonna hold better for longer than like um, a tape runner. Because tape runner, after a while, it might open up even if you're using red liner tape, but red liner tape is probably better. But um, than just a tape runner. But adhesive, I mean, unless you rip it, it's not gonna come apart, right? Um, so that's that. And then, I mean, it looks pretty easy, you guys. This one actually seems easier, obviously, than the flower, because the flower had a lot of layers, and um, you had to kind of stick them in to, between each other. So, well, let me grab some paper, and um, we can get started. Okay, hopefully this isn't too bright. Um, this is Centura Pearl Baby Blue because it is white on the one side and blue on the other and I figured it'll kind of mirror this. Of course, you know, she has a very delicate, really pretty uh, light blue color here, kind of sea foam looking even. Um, but this is what I have, so this is what I will use. Um, I might have something else that's a little bit lighter, but that's okay. So this paper is pretty thick. I think it's like a 310 GSM, so it's some thick stuff. So, you know, just to let you know, because a lot of times people want to know about the weight of the paper. Let me turn on this light. I tried to just use my lights, but it's a little too dark for me to just be working in here. <laughs> so here we are. So I just kind of quickly looked at the the dies and these, you could probably get this cut on the marquee, you know, if you run it through, but you have to do it twice, like this first part and then turn around and do the, next, the second part. But this uh, plate is too big. It's too big for the, um, what's it called? For the uh, Empress Mini 2 because of this part. Here you can see you can't get that in the machine. You can't do the double thing like I do when I run it back again um, with the other part that didn't make it the first time. But um, it'll work in your Gemini uh, Junior or bigger. It'll work in your Empress. Um, probably any other, you know, Cuddlebug, obviously those kind of things. Because it's not that big, but it's big enough. Let me measure it because I know a lot of times people like for me to give them that kind of measurement. It is about five inches wide, which reminds me yesterday when I was reviewing the um, the what was it? Oh, the garden borders, uh, the um, cut and emboss garden borders by Anna Griffin. I said, oh, I know people are going to ask me if this goes in the marquee. And then I started talking about dies. So I didn't answer the question. No, 3D or in cut and emboss type folders do not go through the marquee. Some people will do it anyway. I just wouldn't recommend it. Okay. Just in case it's too thick and it messes up your machine and then you're just going to not have a machine that works very well. So um, it's not recommended. Okay. So hopefully that'll uh, catch you up on that. And so, okay, so it says we want obviously a piece of each of everything. And then, um, so the handle, it looks like just one. Your interior panels, you want two. So this little guy, we're gonna cut out two. One, two, one, and then everything else, obviously just one. Um, is it just one of this? Cute. Okay, so uh, I'm going to get these just cut out. I do like to save my paper as much as I can. So like, let's say I put this guy right here. I'm going to trim this down and then I'm going to um, 
cut whatever I can from these other pieces, right? Whatever might fit in here, like these little guys, these little strips, the handle, however it is, we're gonna get this cut out. But let me just quickly, and again, I don't like to cut into my magnetic mat, so I'm just gonna put this here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of tape since I was very uh, <laughs> frugal there with my paper. I'm gonna put it here on this side. And we need magnetic mat. I do have the metal shim on here, so I'm gonna place it down just because I know that magnet's gonna to wanna to suck up my die. <laughs> and the second cutting. You may not need the metal um, shim, but since it always sticks to my magnetic mat, I just leave it. You hear that? Sounds great. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that's some popping. Another quick mention, and I should have said this before, if you are cutting into, obviously you're gonna cut into your paper. If you use this right side of your paper or wrong side of your paper, make sure your die is cutting into the right side of the paper, because I want the blue, obviously, on the outside when we make our cup, and then the white's gonna be on the inside. So make sure of that. It already kind of embossed a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Because this is thick paper, I used the metal shim, you know. I could have uh, gone ahead and piled in these other little gold pieces too at the same time, the other dies, but I did not. So. Let me get this back, Ooh. and we're gonna pop this back in. This is not super intricate in that it's not you know hard to put this back in, so I just pop it back in right there. And I'm gonna get a little bit of tape, like maybe here, just so hopefully it doesn't move. We're gonna turn it over, rubber embossing mat. What was that? Rubber embossing mat, I was gonna say a pin. There's a pin <laughs> that got deeply etched into my uh, mat, weird. Um, and that's it. If you need, if you run it through and it doesn't look like it embossed as well as you would like, maybe add the metal shim on top of your rubber embossing mat, but I've never had to do that. I can see it's pretty good. Cute. Very delicate, really pretty. Again, you want a deeper emboss, maybe add this on top of your mat. Okay, so I'm gonna cut out the other pieces in the exact same way, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just wanna show, I was being super frugal with my paper, and I was able basically to cut everything out and have a little bit of, what's happening here? Oh, a little bit of extra paper left over. So um, yeah, so that one, it's A4 paper, obviously from Crafts and Paint. Even if it was just A2 size, it'd be fine. You From one sheet, you can get your whole cup cut out. Um, Okay, so this is the last piece, and I just have to do my uh, embossing. So again, just gonna run through. Now this one, I wish I hadn't slipped out because I really need to make sure that it's on the edges here, but basically once you have it oriented the right way, right, the same little cuts, it just slips in, so this is fine. And I am gonna put a little piece of tape, like I said, very small on the very edge, more for my sense of uh, security here, but I don't think it needs it. And then I'm gonna put my rubber mat and I'll run it through and emboss that and I'll be right back and we'll get this together. Okay, we have all our panels, our little plate, or saucer. Um, these two panels that they asked for that hold it up in the middle, an accordion panel it says, and then our handle. So it says fold along the score lines and teacup die set. So I'm just gonna give a little fold in, obviously, because we want it to make a cup shape. And here we go. And this one I'm gonna make it a little bit more crisp. The other ones I'm just kind of finger, kind of just folding it. But I want this one to be a little more crisp. So cute already. Um, and then, okay, just wanna make sure. Um, I'm gonna use tacky glue just cause it sticks a little faster. Um, but you know, whatever glue you like that you like on your paper projects would be great. I am gonna hold this for a little bit though because it does take a few seconds to um, stick together and then really stick together, right? We want it to be really nice. So I'm gonna hold this for a little while. It's already kind of stuck, but I'm gonna keep massaging it just so that it stays really, really nicely and I'll be right back. So I hope this is long enough. <laughs> That's the thing with uh, obviously wet glue, you gotta wait. So she did kind of fold it like this a little bit in the picture there and it kind of says that, it says, um, adhere and then it says fold closed but I'm just holding it so that's fine so we're gonna bring our plate I'm gonna give my plate a little bend 
just so that I have that going already. I don't know if it says that on there, but I know we're gonna have to do this at some point, so I wanna do it now, just to give it a little crease. Okay, because uh, this is a really thick paper. If you're using like Recollections, it's not gonna be a problem. It folds real easily. So anyway, we're gonna take the tabs here. I'm just gonna kinda work them a little bit because I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do. And then it says to slide them into these outer slits, right? There's two slits on either side. Go ahead and put them on the outer slits. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then I do have that fold, the um, seam facing me in the picture. It's facing you. I don't know if that matters, but I'm just going to leave it that way. And then um, on the next one, we're just going to apply adhesive to the tabs and adhere the, to the base panel as shown. So basically on this outer part of your tab, you're going to put glue. I'm going to go ahead and still use my wet glue, but you know, if you put something else, that's fine. <laughs> I'm just going to use my wet glue and push it over. So in the picture, she's showing you to go like this so you can get the glue on there, but you're folding it back on itself, right? So back this way. I just wanna make sure everything's in here good. See, it slipped out. That's the thing with the wet glue. It slipped back. I'm gonna look at this side and make sure I'm nice and flat. See, here. And that side's nice and flat, and I'm gonna hold that down for a little while too. So I'm gonna hold these two until this dries, but you can see your little cup already, super cute. Okay, I think that's long enough, we'll see. All right, now we're gonna work with these panels. And basically it says face out, meaning the two white or whatever that's on the inside, the color you're, you, know, you don't want, are gonna be facing each other in, okay? So I'm just gonna again work these tabs because I, you know, once we get there, I want it to be easy to work with. So I'm just gonna kind of score them a little bit. And you're gonna take a panel, and you saw those two slits there. You're gonna put one in one side, and then it's basically there for a structure, I suppose. Flip this over, and again, put adhesive on the pretty color of it, right? And then flip it back towards the other panel, the other little tab that's there. Okay, and that one's a little bit different to work with, so I'm gonna push this down to hold that down. It's harder to get in there to kind of hold it. So, I get glue on there. Um, and then I'm gonna do the same with the other one. Same thing. So, just put it down in this other slit on the other side. And again, put glue on the pretty part of the panel, of that little tab and fold it back out. We can mess with this in the inside later, but for now, I'm just making sure that these are glued down, so I'm gonna hold these until they're dry, or set up. Okay, I think it's set up pretty good. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little guy and we're gonna fold him. Basically, the easiest thing is to fold it in half in the middle, where it has a score line, right? And we're gonna make it look like a W. So, and then up and up on these other score lines, right? This is actually really quick, you guys. So pretty side of your paper is facing. We have the back side here and you're gonna put a, your glue on those little back tabs, just on the end tabs there. And then you're just gonna put it in between here so it kind of gives it some structure here. So I'm gonna slide it in here without trying to get glue all over the place. And it looks like you place it right at the top kind of where I have it. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and again, I'm gonna hold this in place for a little while till it sets up. A little tip while I was holding it, I just kind of pinched it like this so that we know those panels are really touching really well. And I'm just gonna hold it here until it sets up a little more. Okay, I'm holding for just a little while longer. And let's go ahead and turn the page. And the last thing you're gonna do is put your um, little tabs in with your adhesive. It does say apply adhesive. I think on this part, it's not gonna be that, um, important because this isn't important like to the structure of it. So what I'm probably gonna use a dry adhesive because I don't want to stick it through here and have glue spread all over. So if you look on one side, obviously we have our fold, our beginning tab where we stuck it together. On the opposite side, there's like these little spaces there. So we will see, let me see. I'm gonna try it and then if that doesn't work, I'll put some wet glue. But I'm just gonna run some adhesive in there. See if this works, it might interrupt my putting it in here. <laughs> but we're gonna slide through no. Okay. I'm kind of opening it up with my fingers a little bit so I can kind of get in there. There we go. 
not too difficult. A little, a little, it takes a little doing because this other stuff that's in your hand in the way. And, you know, and then that's it. So I put it on the right side of the, yeah, of the color. And so basically we're going to fold this back, right? Squeeze it against. And again, I usually give a little fold before I do anything and I didn't. So now I'm holding it here. I'm giving it a little fold. I'm holding these really nice and tight. So cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, this was really fast. I mean, obviously I'm chatting and talking over it and walking us through it, but other than, I mean, it worked up really, really fast. Look how cute she is. Now I'm afraid to fold it. <laughs> it says fold tabs in and here to the inside of the teacup. Okay, so we're done with that. Next thing, we're gonna put a ton of glue and it says to use liquid adhesive. Obviously you have your score line and you're gonna put your score line on in your card, right? On the, on the fold line of your card. But I already gave it a fold, right? And I did that on purpose because I didn't wanna do it now and then have, an issue. So I'm going to fold it just to kind of see what happens. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to give that a little bit of a zhuzh. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. And then your card opens it up. This is going to be adorable. Okay. Let me get a card base since I didn't plan that part and I'll be right back. Okay. So, um, just want to see how she has this on here. Okay, so I have this uh, piece of paper here. It is 10 by seven to make a five by seven card base. I did get it from a 12 by 12 piece of Anna Griffin floral card stock. I promise I have more paper. I always go back to the same stack though. And on one side, this is gonna be the outside of the card because that's what's there, but we can decorate it you know, a little differently, obviously to do whatever we wanna do that's fun. Um, and so we need to score this at five inches. And I did cut this a little bit special because I knew I had this geometric pattern on the other side. So I cut it at seven inches, right? Like seven inches down on the paper. And then I cut an inch off either end. That way the paper on this outside is, it, it'll be a little more geometric looking. What the heck just happened? <laughs> did I score that at five inches? Yes, five. Okay, five and a half. I must have just cut a little bit less than I needed off the other side. So let me cut that down, hopefully. Ooh. Um, I need to cut half an inch off of this. This is not going to be pretty, guys. We'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. Um, like about here. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. So let's put this to the side. So basically, I cut half an inch off one side. I meant to cut an inch. <laughs> okay. And so we have our card base and basically what she's showing here is that you're going to adhere it here and then when the person opens the card it should be made in this way, right? So you see the whole side of the teacup. So that's what we're going to do. But what glue it says. So I'm going to go in here. You know how cute this would be if you had, um, which I do have, I just, uh, you know, had to go fish it out. But the... Um, her tea set with like the little napkin and the other little teacups and things like that, the little dies to kind of tuck a little napkin in behind, you know, that'd be so cute. Um, anyway, all right, okay, <laughs> the moment of truth. I don't want to put this in the wrong spot. Just right on the center, right? That center line. And I'm gonna give this a minute to kind of set up before I fold my card in half, okay? So I'm just gonna let this sit. We put glue on the whole thing from the edge to the middle. So it's just really adhered to our cardstock. And if you really wanna get in that center, you can kind of give it a little zhuzh from up top. Okay, I'm gonna continue holding it and massaging it until um, it's really adhered. Okay, let's see. I've just been sitting here, little massage. All right. So I'm gonna fold this. Oh yeah, I don't know why that hurts me every time I go to do that. And I'm gonna give it a good squish because why not? But you don't have to. I mean, obviously I just wanna give it a nice um, squishing. The card did shift a little bit. I can see that, the card base. Now, so you'd have this outside decorated and I would say decorate it in this manner, you know what I'm saying, oriented this way because uh, well, I guess you could orient it this way and then when the person opens it, they can see it, but then they have to kind of like turn it this way if you want them to see the whole side of the cup. But look at how cute that is. Hopefully you guys can see how adorable. And of course, if you pop it up even more, it pops open. Now, when I gave it that good zhuzh, I really do need to come in and still kind of play with this plate so that it's nice and flat. It got a little buckling. 
So I'll continue doing that just to make sure it sticks down nicely. Maybe wait till the glue is completely dry before we fold it in half, but uh, that gave me a good view of uh, that it might shift. Okay, so that's it guys. And then of course, like I said, decorate your front, obviously the card front, and then she has just a couple of little stickers, you know, and put something on the inside, that's cute, um, to decorate it up. But as far as the mechanism itself, it works really well, really quickly put together, like, wow. So thanks for watching guys. Um, again, I don't know if this is still available on HSN, but I know it was on Anna's site yesterday, AnnaGriffin.com. So check it out there and I will see you guys at the next one. Bye now. Thank you.